Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Ola Jumoke. So I often get questions around how it is that I am single and yet very happy and motivated, etc. So in this video, I wanted to share some of the golden nuggets that have helped me maintain a happy life whilst being single and whilst waiting to meet my future partner and so I hope that this is helpful to you and hope that you can apply some of these pointers to your situation perhaps if you're struggling to live a happy and single life. So I'm African and in my culture it is not very usual for women to be single at my age yet I am happily single for now until such a time that I meet my future spouse and I do get the question, like I said, as to, you know, how you maintain your energy and your level of happiness and joy. Now, I will be the first to admit that it is very difficult to be single in today's world where everyone is loved up and it's almost like a taboo if you're not in a relationship. On the flip side, I will say that it is actually not that difficult being single. And I say that because in my personal situation, when I started to understand a little bit more about myself, I started to gain emotional intelligence. I understood what my goals, my ambitions were. I understood that one mistake could really derail my plans for the future. It started to shift my focus from the expectation of being married at a certain age to really developing myself and living every day fully. So I was having a conversation with a friend of mine from business school who I haven't spoken to or seen in over 10 or 12 years, 12 years I think, and it was so good to catch up with her. She's of course married with three children, three beautiful children. And she made a comment. So I said to her, you know, how's your family? How's everyone doing? She asked me the same question. And if I was, you know, if I had children and I said, I don't have children at the moment. And, you know, she said, enjoy being single, enjoy this time and really, you know, take advantage of it. And I found that statement very powerful. And it really struck me because when I speak to certain married people, majority of them say to me, you know, enjoy being single. I miss my freedom. I miss some of that autonomy that I had. I miss being able to just get up and go. I miss not having, I suppose, as many responsibilities, being a parent as I did when I was single. And then you speak to single people who are just, some of them are just so desperate to be in a relationship, to be married. So it's almost like we are programmed to see the grass as being greener on the other side. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that if you keep on chasing the next thing when it's not time to do so, then your focus is completely derailed from what's in front of you now. It's completely derailed from the life that you ought to be living to the fullest in this present time. So it takes you away from the presence and it pushes you, propels you way into the future where you are worried about what's going to happen in the future versus enjoying where you are now. And as a disclaimer, I do hope to be married one day. I do hope to have, you know, one or two children at the appropriate time. I remember my doctor said to me uh, five years ago now in 2017, he said to me, Ola Jumoke, I would love to see you in two years where we are talking about baby. <laughs> and it's five years gone. And, you know, I think he might be a bit disappointed with me. I haven't yeah, reached out to him. But anyway, I digress. So the first thing I will say in ensuring that you live a very fulfilled and happy single life is understanding that nobody is responsible for your happiness but yourself. And I think it's quite unfair as well to put the responsibility of your happiness on someone else. So I believe that some people have this notion that, you know, once I get into a relationship, once I'm married, I'll have that happiness. And I don't necessarily think that's always the case. And it's very important to understand and be content with who you are. Build a whole individual. Nobody likes liability. I don't think anyone out there would want the responsibility, the constant responsibility really for the rest of your life of making someone else happy. Your happiness will not come from any other source. So you must be content and you must have a, a system which works for you in terms of making yourself joyous, making yourself happy being a single person. So the bottom line is that your happiness is not the responsibility of anyone else and that needs to come from you and God. The second thing I will say is 
spend this time of being single, doing the things that you enjoy doing. This all comes from getting to know a little bit more about yourself. So spend this time doing the things that you love doing, which comes from understanding who you are, learning a little bit more about yourself, learning about the things that really make you tick. Leverage this time of freedom, quote unquote, to really enjoy doing things. So travel, join a cycling club, take up an art course, singing, take up writing, uh, go on walks, go on tracks, uh, hike through Europe, US, Middle East, wherever. You know, the point is you should be doing something that really makes you happy and makes you fulfilled. But that also stems from knowing who you are and really having an appreciation for what makes you, you. The third point I would highlight is to take this time out to build emotional intelligence. I think for a very long time, the world has sold us this narrative of happily ever after, doesn't necessarily mean that you won't run into, you know, hiccups every now and then, or very sort of tumultuous situations in your relationships. But I think that the way the world is sort of structured now, it under prepares a lot of people for the realities within marriage. You know, people expect a perfect partner. If you expect someone to be perfect, if you expect a perfect relationship, I would say that you are definitely not ready for a relationship because nobody is perfect. And we all make mistakes within marriage, within relationships, your partners will keep making mistakes over and over again. That's part of, you know, being imperfect really. So if there are couples that you admire, or if you have any mentors that you look up to when it comes to marriage, spend some time with them, spend some time getting to understand, you know, the nuances within relationships and the nuances when you become a couple. So this video was sponsored by Coco and Crumble, an amazing brand for all things home fragrance. Visit www.cocoandcrumble.com for all your home fragrance needs. Whatever your preference, you're guaranteed to find a gorgeous fragrance for your home. The next point which has helped me stay happy whilst single is um, I've completely thrown myself into self-development, my professional development, etc. My mom was a very progressive woman, I'd say for her generation. She was extremely successful in what she did. She was a banker. So just watching my mom, I always wanted to become a banker. And she had five children and she ran a household. She had so many responsibilities. She was also an entrepreneur, which I think is where I get my entrepreneurial spirit. Yay! So watching my mother really instilled in me the importance of having a drive, of having a passion and ambition when it comes to your professional career. So what I would say is, you know, spend this time building yourself, developing your professional skills, going from height to height and having your own thing. You know, nobody wants to, like I said, have someone who's a liability to them. It would be great to meet an individual who has their own thing going, has a life of their own. You know, they have their activities, they have things that they enjoy. It's just nice to have that character in a spouse or a partner where they are, you know, interesting and they're not just waiting for you to bring excitement into their lives. The next point, which really ties into the second point about getting to know yourself better and developing yourself is to take time out to do the things that really make you happy. I met up with a friend last week and it was so riveting to spend time with her. And you know, she's very spirited. She's a very interesting individual. And I said to her that I believe that the sad part of my life in the past is that a lot of my identity was tied into my career, what I did for a living. And she said a lot of her identity is tied into doing the things she loves. And I was so envious and I said to her, I'm envious of you because I wish I could do more of that. I wish I could just relax you know, switch off work and my career for a second and focus on the things that make me happy. But it was so good to speak to her because immediately I started thinking about taking some proper time off everything and taking some time to really think about what makes me happy, the things I, I enjoy doing. I know what I enjoy doing, but I wanted to be more intentional about doing those things. And it really made me consider the last time I really stopped I really switched off from work, from my career, from my businesses, to just look up and enjoy the sunshine. It's a beautiful day in London town today. The sun is out, birds are chirping, and I think a lot of moods have been uplifted, at least in this, um, in this glorious weather that we're having. And it made me think about the last time I just stopped to 
relax and indulge in doing the things that I really enjoy. And so I decided going forward to be a lot more intentional about incorporating a lot of the things I really enjoy into my day-to-day -day living and hopefully just measuring the impact of that on my happiness, my joy and you know hopefully even heighten that going forward. The next thing I would say is try to avoid the temptation of comparing yourself to others. What goes on behind closed doors is not always apparent. Again, coming back to the whole social media sphere, what you see is not always reality and people put their best foot forward. So you won't always see the very cantankerous arguments that people have with their spouses, with their partners. They always put the best of their experiences online. So everything you see, you must take with a pinch of salt and you must also use your discretion to understand, you know, this may not always be their reality. I bet it isn't always their reality. Couples fight, couples make up, and you know, it's never always smooth sailing. So of course it's good to see, you know, very healthy and happy relationships, but I have become very intentional and conscious around not comparing myself to others. There's some lovely young people who are married now who I babysat as children or as infants and it's just amazing because now they're married with their own children and it's wonderful to to see i often tease myself with my sisters when they complain about something and i say well you know i don't have a husband i don't have a child it's just a tease but that really reinforces my understanding and acceptance that this is just a phase in my life i look forward to the next phase but whilst i'm here i really want to be focused on the present i really want to focus on making the most of my situation and the final thing I will say is be kind to yourself. When you get married or when you get into a relationship, which is meant to be a long-term you know, commitment, if you will, that sort of is meant to close this chapter of your life. So the original plan of marriage was to be together forever. And I'm a very traditional woman. I'm a great believer in you know, marriage for life. And that starts a new chapter in your life. So you really want to enjoy this time, be good to yourself, be kind to yourself, knowing fully well that there's so many other people just like you out there who are living their lives, who are fulfilled. Some people might not be as happy being single, but again, it's just a phase. So make sure that you are really good to yourself, treat yourself, date yourself in the meantime, and just explore and enjoy what life has to offer to you as a single person in 2022. That's it for this video. I do hope it's been entertaining as well as helpful and educational. Know that you are not alone, but there are several ways to approach it. And really it's a choice. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad about it. I would opt for happiness. And again, within happiness, and being joyful there's so many things you can do to achieve that don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed click the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from me until next time look after yourselves bye for now